I can think of three reasons. One, the therapist is, unfortunately, working at a place that gives the next case file to the next available therapist. If the therapist doesn't feel threatened in any way, then they get stuck with them. These therapists turn therapy into a job, and work with the clients too analytically. Basically, they don't care. The second type are the younger therapists. Still working on getting their license to practice, legally. They put up with a client's crap to get their licensure ASAP. Whether it's their first license, or because they moved to a state where they might be required to put in, X, amount of time to earn a license to practice. The third reason would be just an older version of the one mentioned above. The ones that broke a long time ago. They've been so mentally, emotionally broken down, they just don't give a flying F anymore about who walks into their office. Maybe a fourth? Someone that secretly enjoys dragging out problems just to argue. That rush of winning and losing. Remember, these are all possible reasons why I think a therapist would keep working with a client that they disliked. I think the super, vast, majority of them want nothing but the best for the person walking into their office. Problem is, bureaucracy gets in the way.